In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the in-game preview function in AdamCraft. With the in-game preview function, it is possible to connect AdamCraft to a game while it is running and to make real-time adjustments. First, we need to make sure that there is enough memory for the ACF and the ACB files in case the new parameters or audio files take more space than the original ones. Click on the Global Settings in the Project tree. We are going to add 2KB to the ACF limit size to provide space for potential changes to the ASACs, categories, and so on. Now let's go in the Work Units pane and click on a Q Sheet folder. We can set the maximum size for our Q Sheet here. Here we are going to add about 500KB. It's a lot more than for the ACF because in addition to the parameters, you can also change audio materials for the Q-Sheet binaries. Before going further, make sure you watched our previous tutorial on how to build the audio project in AdamCraft and the different options available. In this case, we want to build the data for the in-game preview. So first make sure you have clicked on the Within Game Preview Binary checkbox and then build the binary data into your Project Assets folder. We are now ready to connect to the game. First, start the game. Go to the menu bar and click on Preview. Finally, click on Start in-game preview. The preview window appears. The blue check mark indicates that we are now connected to the game. From this point on, any parameter change will be mirrored in the game. For instance, let's change the music's volume level. Notice how the music's volume level changes in real time. As mentioned earlier, it is even possible to swap an audio material while the game is running. For example, let's change the sound effect. Really easy, isn't it? Notice how the size of the cue sheet has been updated in the preview window. To stop the in-game preview, simply select Preview in the menu bar and click on Stop in-game preview. This concludes our little video about the in-game preview function in AdamCraft. This feature is very convenient to try out different implementation methods and is also going to be really useful for mixing your game.